I see that the things that we are developing in the lab ultimately will have an application. The human gastrointestinal tract as such is teeming with millions of bacteria. And it's already been established that a bacteria use quorum sensing as their language. What we're trying to do is develop tools that will help them manage their disease. I got interested in biosensors early on in my career as a graduate student. I really got fascinated by the idea of being able to um, tweak with um, biological compounds and make them do things for us. The focus of our research in my group is to develop uh, biosensors, uh, responsive drug delivery systems and biomaterials uh, employing genetically engineered uh, cells and proteins. Biosensors have two components to them. One is that they have a feature where they recognize a target compound, and when they recognize a target compound, they bind to it. And then they have another component, which is a transducer, which, which what it does is to emit some sort of a signal in response to the recognition of a target compound. Uh, biosensors can be employed in a variety of applications for environmental monitoring, for diagnostics, in the defense industry, etc. So there are many applications uh, to biosensors and even, even in, in home uh, type of applications. I've been very fortunate uh, to have a team of very, very, very motivated researchers who have backgrounds in a variety of disciplines. My research focuses mainly on developing protein-based and whole cell-based biosensors, meaning that um, we take proteins from bacteria or other organisms or whole bacterial cells themselves and use them to develop sensors to detect things like, um, for my research, hydroxylated PCBs, which are environmental contaminants, or um, glucose, which is a physiologically important analyte for people who have diabetes. What I do is I engineer proteins from glow-in-the-dark jellyfish. They're called bioluminescent jellyfish. And I engineer them to be of different colors and different stability, not the jellyfish themselves, but the proteins that make it glow-in-the-dark. And those are used for various analytical labels and different fields of science. My research, I'm working with specifically a protein that's found in jellyfish. It's called icorn. And we use it as a biosensor in giving off the light so we can detect how much is there. So what I've done is kind of split that protein in half and put another protein in the middle that will specifically bind an analyte of interest for us. Based on how intense the light is, we can determine how much of our specific analyte is in the solution. In my uh, project, we have uh, we detect AHLs. AHLs are nothing but N-acyl homocysteine lactones. These are signaling molecules for bacteria. So we look for these molecules in samples, for example, saliva and stool of patients from IBD. And uh, this uh, analyte is actually uh, sensed by uh, bioluminescence because we, the reporter we use in our whole cell sensing system is Lux cassette, which codes for bioluminescent protein. So this bioluminescence is measured, and then we uh, correspond the amount, the intensity of bioluminescence to the amount of AHL present in these samples. Crohn's disease is a multifactorial disease, and it seems to be an inflammatory state, which is chronic and has an adverse impact by the severity of the inflammation itself on the various physiological functions of the body. In children, it has a profound effect on how they grow. I have a daughter who's uh, 19, and uh, she's a sophomore at Princeton now, and uh, she's struggling with Crohn's disease. The ultimate goal of this is that once we actually establish that there is a correlation between the levels of these molecules, um, in the saliva of the patients and in their intestinal fluids, 
then we can develop the biosensors that I did talk about, that you can actually incorporate them in paper strips or make very simple type of devices that a patient could use on a daily basis to monitor their status. Every day I wake up and I have new ideas and I am just so excited, I love what I do. And I think that this is something that it permeates and, and everybody in, in my lab is very enthusiastic about what they are doing. The most enjoyable thing about working with Dr. Donner and, and her research group is that um, She's very passionate about the work that she does. Well, working with Dr. Donard, I think the best part about it is she makes you have a lot of confidence in your scientific ability. She's herself very full of life and uh, motivational, very driven about the work she does, you know. If I have to say why I love my research so much, I love it because I see that the things that we are developing in the lab ultimately will have an application. I can look into nature, I can imagine things that we can do with what nature has to offer, bring them to the lab and make something useful out of it.